Greetings and welcome back to another Metal Gear Solid 5 FOB video event guide. Before we get into today's FOB event, I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for missing the last one. I was going to make it in the second week of the event, but then we had a little bit of a disaster here regarding some of the plumbing. And, well, the less said about it, the better, but uh, I ended up losing a lot of time and quite a few days. And basically, by the time I could have done it, it the event only had maybe two or three days left, so I decided against it. But we're back at it again with this new one, fresh and invigorated, and let's take it from the top. So the New World Order event will last until the 17th of February, and the mission tasks for hard mode difficulty are as follows. Fulton two anti-air emplacements. Neutralize seven security guards with handguns. Fulton ten security guards. Neutralize 15 security guards total. Infiltrate successfully. Infiltrate successfully within 480 seconds or eight minutes and infiltrate successfully with no kills and no alerts. Today we're going to be using the Grade 4 Burkov TB Tranquilizer Handgun. And we're going to customize that as follows. Go ahead and leave the extended magazine on there. We're going to go, and go ahead and put on the Grade 3 Suppressor, or the best suppressor available to you. We're going to swap out the compact flashlight for the la flashlight laser module. I'm also going to make it match my camo. As always, you do not need to do this. We're going to bring a nice, weak, cheap assault rifle. And we're also going to bring the Grade 5 AMMRS 73 Non Lethal Tranquilizer Sniper Rifle, customized as follows. Swap out the barrel for the improved barrel if you have it. The default stock is fine, the default muzzle is just fine. For the muzzle accessory, we're going to attach the Grade 3 Suppressor or the best suppressor available to you. For the scope, we're going to go with the RF scope, two to eight times zoom. Go ahead and attach a flashlight. Go ahead and attach a laser sight. And we're also going to attach an underbarrel foregrip for a little extra stability. And once again, I'm going to make that match my camo. And once again, you do not need to do this. This week, we're going to be invading the base development platform, and we're going to be dropping in at the default location. We're going to bring that nice cheap assault rifle, and that Grade 5 AM MRS-73 non-lethal tranquilizer sniper rifle that we customized a bit earlier. We're also going to bring Grade 4 Burkov TB Tranquilizer Handgun that we customized a bit earlier. We're also going to bring magazines, although I do not believe we're going to be using them. We're also going to bring night vision goggles and our Grade 4 Nocto Cyanin. We're also going to bring our weakest, cheapest Wormhole Fultons. And we're also going to go in a fatigue with metal or concrete surfaces in the description. And as usual, drop in at night. Successfully sneak your way into the heart of the rival PF's FOB, and you can capture staff from them. I'll be looking forward to meeting the new recruits, boss. Be careful down there, boss. From, from the start, we're going to go ahead and run, 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 run up the double set of stairs. We're going to take a dive kind of closer to the left as soon as we turn visible. 
Now, these guys are wearing sneaking suits. They're not wearing the uh, battle dress. And that does mean we can hit them with tranquilizer darts anywhere on the body. Uh, but they are very resistant to tranquilizers, so uh, we can't just hit, give them a few hits with the trank gun and expect them to go down. Uh, there's an exception to that, but we'll get into that a bit later. Also keep in mind they are wearing an armored helmet, though. And that means the only area that we can get them is sort of in the mouth region. Kind of about from the, uh, the chin to right about the middle of the eyes. That is the sweet spot. The back of their heads are armored. The sides of their head are armored. The top of their heads are armored. Their foreheads are armored. They also have a uh, breathing filter mask. So if you would happen to breathe, bring anything, say, like uh, sleep gas grenades... It will not affect them. So we got a couple of handgun takedowns here, a couple of regular takedowns for the neutralizations, and we also got a couple of Fultons. Remember, the lucky number is 10. We need 10 Fultons, and then we need to Fulton the anti-aircraft guns. So try to go for headshots. We got a lot of ammo to work with, thankfully, with the uh, Burkov here. And we got a very good suppressor on it, at least I do with the grade three. Like I have quite, I have quite a bit of trouble finding this guy's. Uh, there we go, just the just the the sweet spot, you know. Gonna shoot at this guy's feet, get him to turn around, and there we go. Oh, this guy saw me. Let's see if we can line him up. Come on now, there we go. All right, let's get this guy. Um, this guy was a pain. He kept. I had to keep getting him so he wouldn't wake up his buddy. Ultimately, it's worth it spending a couple extra shots. And I don't think I need to crawl anymore. Let's take a Nocto. See around. We got one guy under deck, one guy above deck, and let's get a couple of Fultons in. Tell you what, before we. Before we go for that other guy, He's coming too. let's see if we Watch can take man. care of this guy real quick. Come on, turn around. There we go. Again, pay attention to the number of your Fultons. You will know you're done when you hit two Fultons left. So, since we have four, that means we need two more. We're already done with our handgun takedowns, so at this point we can switch to our Tranquilizer Sniper Rifle. And remember when I said a bit earlier that we wanted to prioritize headshots, because the body shots do not really do much to these guys? Well, thankfully, the Tranquilizer Sniper Rifle here is an exception to that rule. And um, you can take these guys out pretty much instantly with body shots, but you do need three of them. So it's a little bit complicated. But that's fine. Another Nocto real quick. We did a little spotting on the final platform. Let's see, can I get that guy in the face? I can get that guy in the face. How about this guy? Alright. A little more spotting. And we're going to post up here real quick, see who we can't get. Like you can see right there, one, two, three, one, two, three. And they're basically down instantly. I mean, still go for headshots when the opportunity presents itself like right there. Those are still the best policy. But we have a decent amount of rounds to work with on this. I don't check my corner here and get spotted by this guy, but that's fine. Easy enough to take down. We'll stop this guy before he runs over as well. I do believe they are going to be our last two Fultons that we need. Subject on board. Leave the rest. 
close to us. We're going to take the rest of our Nocto right here. And we're going to take down this guy on the far end. He's coming too. Roger that. And that guy's way, way, way far behind us. I do not believe he will catch up to us. And we got one guy left kind of running around in the structure, but I do not believe we need to worry about him. The anti-aircraft guns are right here. Uh, if you're infiltrating the same platform that we're that we are infiltrating, they will always be here. So I'm not even going to stress that guy. We don't need any more neutralizations or Fultons. And with those aircraft guns being taken away, that's pretty much all we need. So we're going to give a quick check here of our tasks. They look good. Let's go ahead and walk right out the door. So that's the New World Order event on a hard mode difficulty. It can be a little challenging to get those headshots, but it's definitely doable. Any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section. Please throw me a like and a subscribe if you haven't already. Those are always appreciated. As always, thank you for watching the video, and until next time, have a good one.